All right, so you guys may already know this because we've talked about it, but now we're gonna do something about this problem, about these chickens that sleep outside their run. We have a group of chickens that decide it's best to sleep outside the coop instead of inside the coop. Huh, isn't that right, guys? Yeah, I'm talking about all of you. There's Bailey helping uh, check for mice around the coop. We're gonna try to fix this problem starting tomorrow. That's right, guys, you're not gonna be able to do this anymore. We're gonna stop you. I know what I have an idea. Come on, there you go. Tomorrow, this isn't gonna happen again. Get into your coop. That's right, come on. And this chickadee right here is the stubborn one who never wants to go with everybody else. You're the main reason why I want to do this. Yeah, because you're a pain to get in there. I'm talking to you. All right, everybody. So something abnormal is going on and we're having a problem. Us having problems isn't the abnormal part. If you guys haven't seen in previous vlogs that we've sent and you guys are new here, we have a group of chickens that like to sleep outside their coop. We've been dealing with this problem ever since we've had them, ever since we brought them outside. This is what they've wanted to do. But thanks to some help from some ideas from you guys, I think we're gonna stop that problem today. So the first thing before hearing back from any of you guys about ideas to maybe get a way to get them to sleep inside their coop, the number one thing that I wanted to do was to see why they're sleeping outside the coop. That's how you try to figure out a problem, right? But just to like looking up at your own diagnosis on Google for why you're sick, I didn't like the reasons of why they may be sleeping outside their coop. For one, they said that they're not sleeping inside their coop because they don't feel safe because there's another animal in there. I looked, no animals, so we're good. And now your second reason, just like your first, it could be that there was some kind of bug infestation. So it could be that there's ticks. I don't know what other bugs. So pests in there that are pecking at them, biting at them, getting under their skin. And that's another reason why they don't want to stay inside the coop. But during the winter time, that's a little bit less likely because of how cold it is, they don't really survive. Plus, I checked this coop when we first got it and cleaned it all out pretty good. So I don't think that's the problem either. And that leads me to the third reason, and this is the reason why I think it is. Chickens can be stubborn. Not listen, do whatever they want, and just decide they're gonna sleep outside. And that is what I think's going on here. I think the main reason of why they're doing it is I put this roosting bar in there that is higher up outside of the coop in their run area and they're deciding at nighttime when they wanna go roost and go to bed to go there because it's the highest roosting bar. And what they're doing is deciding to roost and go to bed up on that bar because it is the highest roosting bar in their Cooper run. So that's what they're deciding to do. That can't happen. So I have an idea that I'm gonna try today and I'm hoping that tonight, that problem about having to force them or grab any of them to put them into the coop for bedtime is all just the past. But I'm not sure, usually ideas don't go that well the first time, right? But that's what I wanna to do today for them. I'm also going to put a plastic sheet all across down the bottom of the run so that the cold wind here during the winter time, because we're starting to hit the negative degrees Fahrenheit here in Michigan, I wanna make sure that they're not getting so cold that they don't wanna come down. And I'll probably put some new straw down at the bottom of the run also so that they're not touching such a cold ground. So that's the first thing I wanna do since it's cold. I wanna cover that up for them now. And then I'm gonna to get to the idea of how we're gonna get these chickens to start going inside their coop. You might wanna stick around for that. I don't have any more treats. But first, before any of what I just said, we have to do the same old. Break the ice so that they have some clean water. Before doing the plastic right now that I'm gonna be adding to it, we put a tarp down here and cut it. And then I kinda of just screwed it up against it. And we've been using this big piece of wood to try to block any of the wind and snow, mostly just the snow. And that blocks a lot of sunlight for them, so it's really not ideal. So it was something that we really wanted to change, and this is the lot easier option, and I should have got to it sooner. All you really need to do this is some kind of plastic sheeting that you want to buy, and I'm gonna use a stapler to staple it on, and that's all you're gonna need. And it'll help put it together, help block the wind, and help stop snow from getting inside there. So. It's a win-win-win for everybody. Only two things that you're gonna need and it's gonna help your chickens. That sounds like a good deal, huh?
All right, that is off the checklist now. They have their sheeting to cover them from any strong winds here when it gets the negative degrees temperature. So they have a warmer shelter of somewhat. But the last thing that you would want to do is to cover your whole entire run with the plastic sheeting. You need ventilation, you need ventilation, you need ventilation for your chickens. So you wanna make sure that there's still air to pass through into your chicken run and chicken coop especially. Your chicken coop is very important for ventilation. But I didn't wanna block everything up from them because the last thing you would want is a whole bunch of condensation and liquid getting into there. Because then when that cold air from the ventilation comes in, then your chickens would definitely be getting frostbitten. So I just wanted to kind of give them one area that would keep them a little warmer down in their run, but I didn't want to make it where their whole run was covered because that's not necessary. You want them to still be able to feel some cold air. It's good for your chickens and makes them tough, makes them stronger. So you want to make sure that you don't cover up your whole run. That's definitely not necessary for them. But I thought giving them a little spot so they can come down a little bit more during the winter time here in Michigan would benefit them. All right, so now here's the big idea. The idea to hopefully get them where they're gonna be roosting inside their coop today. Thanks to the help of some of your guys' suggestions, I looked at them all, saw what was the best I think was gonna happen for my chickens and the reason why they were doing it. And I think this is an idea that some people should look into just in case this is what their chickens are doing. So after gathering up all the ideas that you guys sent to me to tell me what I should do, and also understanding what's going on with my chickens, the main reason why I think that this is happening is because the highest roosting bars are in the run instead of the coop. So we're gonna take the roosting bars out of the run today. Hey everybody, what's going on? Hi everybody, smile. Smile for the camera. I added this roosting bar because I thought it was good for them to kind of jump around during the day to give them something to do. And I added that one just so they had more room also. And now what I'm realizing is that probably wasn't the best idea. This one came with the coop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this big one out so it's not up here anymore. I'm gonna take this side one out because those are ones that I've screwed in. Hey, Rosie, no pecking. And then this one that came with the coop isn't screwed in. So what I'll be able to do is take it out at nighttime. And that's what I'm planning on doing is I'll just take it out at nighttime when I take their food and water so that they don't have any roosting bars inside their run during the nighttime. So now you can see I took out that top bar and I took out that other side one, so now they just have the one here. So what I wanna do is when I come out to take the food around 4.30 at night, five when it starts to about to get dark, I'm just gonna take this bar out with me so they won't have any roosting bars. And we'll see if that makes them go to the coop to roost at nighttime. All right, I've been outside in the freezing cold for a long time though. So I'm gonna go inside real quick and then we'll come back to get that roosting bar and we'll see what happens. Cross our fingers. Back outside, it's probably about an hour or so until the sun was gonna be coming down and it's gonna get dark. And I sure hope this works. I'm gonna take this roosting bar now out of the coop and then we'll come back out all together and we'll have a moment of truth. What do you think, little Delilah? I don't think that sounds good. Doesn't sound like it's gonna be, it's gonna work. All right, we'll be back in an hour to go check on that chicken coop over there. And hopefully we have 10 chickens inside the coop, not sleeping on the ground. I don't know, moment of truth. That's what we've all been waiting for. All right, I'm taking their food and water out. They're all down here at this moment. We're gonna wait and see. We're gonna leave the camera here and see if they go in here within the next 30 minutes. Time for bed, guys. Okay, see you tomorrow.
We have all of our lights and we are going out to confirm if all of them are out of the coop. Here they are. They're all asleep. Well, I'm probably waking them up now, but good night, guys. Good job. All right, it has now been a week since we've been doing the process of having no roosting bars out here in the run and removing them so that at nighttime they were forced to hopefully go inside and roost in the bars that we have inside the coop area, and it has worked. I can't tell you how much that makes a difference for me and Chelsea. It used to be about five to 10 minutes of coming out here, trying to get them, and then sometimes only half of them would go in. We'd go back inside our house because it was so cold to sit out here and try to get them all to go in, come back out again about 10 minutes later and repeat the process and hopefully to get them all in. Now it only takes about one minute, grab our door, lock it up, now they're safe. And it makes such a big difference because on those nights that sometimes we're getting back from doing something late, at least we know they'll be safer trying to go inside their coop and not being as in the open for a predator to see. We are just very satisfied with the process. Thank you guys for the suggestions, for everyone who sent different ideas of what to do. And thanks to the one person especially. <laughs> What is going on in there this morning? Thanks for the one person especially that gave us this idea. It worked and we are so happy. Thank you guys for following along in another video. I really hope this helps somebody that they can get down their chickens hopefully to sleep inside their coop like it did for us. And if you liked the video, of course, please subscribe to us. A lot more of you guys are starting to subscribe and follow along with us. And we really can't appreciate that enough. So thank you guys and we'll see you in the next vlog. Of course, we'll be probably following along with our chickens.